Hello. Hi. This season has definitely been an improvement. <laughs> it's shaping up to be the best. My, or at least sort of my most liked uh, Peter Davidson season um, so far. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think they've gotten better, haven't they, for you? Mm -hmm. The first one was like, you've got, well, it's your least favourite so far, but you liked it. Even though it had Earthshot. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the one after was a little bit better. Yeah. And then it seems to have been a step up again. Yeah, so far I haven't disliked the story. No, we haven't, so, which is good. Yeah. Uh, right, let's continue with this next one. Yes. I'm going to ask you to not look at the first one. And I bought it online and I didn't realise when it came that it's actually the European Dutch version. Ah. But it's in it's in English. So yeah, would I can still I can still play I mean I don't know if No, it'll be in it'll be in English, but there's no subtitles and the actual menu screen's all in Dutch and everything. Oh right. So was it, was it not really released? It was, but I but I bought it online and they sent me uh, the Dutch version. So basically, the only difference to the watching experience is that there's no subtitles. Yeah, for, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I press subtitles and it says Netherlands. <laughs> um, well, so, there might be more options. No, there aren't. So, uh, if you understand Dutch, you can watch the subtitles if you like. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's a script editor. Yeah, but he's written this one. Okay, well let's see notes. He wrote Earthshock. So oh, right! <laughs> and Earthshock and the Visitation. Yeah. Well, you know, let's see if it continues to be good. I was gonna say, it looks sort of 1800s, but those uh, no. bridges don't look real old. This is London. This place in London. Okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely not 1800s. <laughs> it's music. This music sounds a lot like a past story, I can't quite think of it. Three Doctors, I think? Like the oh yes! Spawning in. Yes. Like <laughs> oh my that. god! What a way to start, though. Yeah. Like, uh, that's kind of <laughs> a violent start. Family show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yes, of course. Weren't yeah. They? Yeah. Something far bigger than the tractators. I can't feel the turns from the time corridor. Oh no. Recognize that sound? I do. Galloway! I don't think Galloway's alive at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very minor. It's a battle cruiser. Don't let him go. Inform the captain. Since this report is talking about the TARDIS. No. Red alert at once. Should we be boarded? Destroy the prisoner. Oh, dropped. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hello! Oh, my word. <laughs> oh! It's tons! Oh! What an entrance. Oh my. <laughs> oh my word. When... Ah, oh, when was the last time we saw that? Destiny of the Darling. Well, five doctors. <laughs> Not for very long now. Oh my word, I didn't feel good. Six and two shots. Good. We must join them. More powerful than ever. The doctor has been detained in the warehouse. Dispatch a direct. He must be brought to our ship at once. I obey. Ah, okay. What? 
we just had the Doctor. So maybe it's them who were the big force, bigger than ever before. Right? <sighs> oh, does nothing work properly? Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Everyone's coming back! The whole Dalek suite. <laughs> you can't be the prisoner! What is that smell? Release that Ross. A duck. Take cover! Age expired! <laughs> so, oh, the Daleks are back. Davros is back. And they have friends. Oh my word. That was overwhelming. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> <coughs> Oh, oh my, I don't feel good. I don't feel well now. That is one of the highest death counts, I believe. In fact, it might even be the highest death count in a Doctor Who episode. That's just the first part. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Really, um, really intense. Very, uh, yeah. And then there's the guy at the end who had that... Yeah, very violent, this. Yeah, and the Daleks just coming back like that. You know, literally bursting through the wall. Like yeah. That. Uh, it's like, kind of my head's spinning. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of one of the milk If the action is almost incredibly fast paced, mm. yeah, I think the Daleks are actually pretty terrifying in this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they're like more for for a Dalek story. They're like yeah, it comes close to Genesis and Dalek invasion for how good they are in this. Yeah, definitely. Well, I. I have a very good feeling about this story. <laughs> so we're only on part one. I know. And a lot has happened already, so a lot could happen to ruin it as well. Um, is Eric Sale with them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it could go either way. <laughs> well, visitation wasn't that bad. No. Yeah. Uh, are you able to continue? <laughs> Maybe after a minute. Okay. <laughs> Davos wasn't in Destiny. There was no one before that. He was in Destiny. Oh, that was the one where they, where he, they were, he was, they were on Scarrow and he was buried. And yeah, they were yeah. For him. Yeah. God, it was. It was. It was. Uh, I feel like, I don't, was it about a year ago when we watched that movie? Don't say that. <laughs> don't say <laughs> it that. Wasn't that it was half a year ago. Well, that's more Destiny. reasonable. But yeah, that six or seven months maybe. Yeah. It's, all right, I think we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're entering uh, a bit more violent era of Doctor Who. Right. Okay. I actually remember you saying something about the Doctor Who getting uh, a bit more mature. This is the beginning of that, I okay. think. Or oh, Warriors of the Deep really was the beginning of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really like the clip. I like the dog. Really. Oh, oh. Is it there? Oh. I think not. Actually, they it? lost Davros. They were talking new Davros. <laughs> no, oh, uh, yes, it is new Davros. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it sounds a lot more like the Genesis one. <laughs> Very and it's not a new because I'm so used to it being this one. In, right. the, in the radio ones, it's this actor. Oh, okay. Zero three to HQ. Zero three to HQ. Over. Um, the real Dalek. I was terrified it was a Dalek. It was. Or at least the remains of one. He's still alive. He must be made to believe that we serve him. Mm. It's, it's a waste really... of time. The mutant could escape using the... Well, the time Genesis, horrible. they killed him. Yes. That's... So why are you being so tentative in your search? Well, we don't have a certain. It's dead. 
Absolutely. That's more shock than physical. It does happen though, it has happened. Well, yeah. the the day of the Daleks. Yeah. I'm not the shot Omega. The this one shot. This one's very trigger happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> this, the fifth doctor. Well, you've been taking this opportunity shot the Cybermen. Cybermen as well. Didn't he? Yeah, Cybermen. Come on, 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 it feels less weird. Yeah. Almost, but the actual crystal is. Mm -hmm. yeah, in general, it's a very sort of grounded. The world's caused by aliens. We don't know what infection may have entered his bloodstream. Well, the Colonel will be back soon. When we get the pair of them to hospital. It's very grey. Yes. Imagine watching this right after City's death. Years, I was through the big batch. There's nothing to worry about. Quickly, <laughs> let's get out of here. I didn't quite tell you the truth. I serve the Daleks. I'm a Dalek agent. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like <laughs> harrowing than a shock. <laughs> yeah. But I think, um, I mean, no, it's it's still like really right, but it's like, I don't know. I think I, it's more, yeah. I think because it's like more bleak than Earth Shock, it's kind of, I don't know. It's like a, it just feels different. Yeah. Yes. For Doctor Who. It does. It really I am does. still really like liking it a lot, but you know. <laughs> Matthew Robinson, director, yeah. Right. yeah. New a new director. I think okay. he's quite good actually. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this this story actually, when it was first broadcast, I believe, someone may correct me, was broadcast in two fifty minute parts. Due to some scheduling conflict or something. Okay. So those two were broadcast in, in one episode, and then the next two were one episode. Right. It's like a, I guess an experiment almost as well. Like sure. Uh, unfortunately, that version is not on this disc. Otherwise, I'd have just played that. Oh right. Okay. <coughs> okay. Save as uh, stuffing. Mm. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. No, I think it's fine. That first cliffhanger was. It's a perfect place for a cliffhanger. I think it was probably written to be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, I'm kind of glad that, it, that we're watching it in four parts, because I needed to recover after that first one. <laughs> yeah, so basically the only the only people we can trust are Tegan, that other person she's with, and then Taylor and Doctor. Yeah. That's but, it. Well, can we trust the person that Tegan's with? The, the, um, I don't even know if she's Tegan. like a scientist, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. pretty much. Uh, that noise that we hear in part part the one. The sort of That's bell. the TARDIS close to bell. Right. From the Gopolis. It, it just indicates danger, basically. Oh. Uh, okay. So it rang in the Gopolis because, I guess, it made me think. It knew of, that, the, that the Doctor was about to die. Uh, it made me think of a master. Well, that's, yes. And the deadly assassin. Oh, I don't know if it rang in the Deadly Assassin. No, maybe I don't it's think because it is. the Master's Titus was like a little clock thing. Yeah, and it sounded. Yeah. Well, it, it rang in the Gopolis, and of course, the Master is the threat in that that it's yeah. rang for. Here, it, okay. obviously, the threat is the Daleks' time corridor. The Titus is in great danger. Yeah, it's probably the most threatening the Daleks have been uh, ever. <laughs> Proceed! 
Do you remember when they duplicated the dots before? Yes, I do. What will you do with my duplicate? That does not concern you. Oh, I think it does. I've grown rather attached to myself. You will remain silent. Darby continues to grow. I think I'm, yeah, I think I get that. Why? The Doctor, without his companions, would be rather incongruous. You will assassinate the members of the High Council! No! <laughs> <laughs> now that's a... They're just not, like, they're not holding anything back. They just hate the doctor now. Just got a high heel on. It's not easy to run. Well, the cylinder disappeared. Damn, they're not. Do. I shouldn't have yeah, left them. Just more, more they were so close. Yeah. We have to get back to work. No! Was it the time for her to look up? Oh, it's another one of those. <laughs> Boy, yeah, I think it's official. This is the most like intense and like intimidating story. <laughs> <laughs> now there's nobody except the uh is there's nobody they can trust except the the guy that's with Turlo. Yeah, he's the only guy that's on their side left alive. Pretty much, yeah. What happened to John Nathan Turner? <laughs> he doesn't write the stories. No, but like he oversees everything. You know, he's like I don't know how much input he actually has on what the stories are. I know he has an input on like. Uh, like the way it's made and like, yeah. the costumes and and I think he, he you know has an input on the casting and things like that and you might occasionally go I want a Dalek story or I want a master story oh. I don't you know ha how much input he has on the tone of the story or the plots or who gets killed and I don't think he has anything to do with okay that. so that'll be Eric say yeah you. in that case what was happening with him do well you, again again <laughs> Such a, you know, dark story for Doctor Who. Well, Eric Sayward's stories have been like that. Earthshock, you know, is, yeah, is in the not... same vein as this. It's not quite that level, but it's no. heading. It, it was. I think it's always been heading in that direction. Mm -hmm. Right. The worries of the deep. Yeah, everyone's killed at the end. end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're nearly yeah. at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> To kill Davros. I must. Davros created the Daleks. He must not be allowed to save them. No. I'm not here as your prisoner, Davros. But your executioner. Listen to me. I had planned to completely redesign the Daleks. Kissen will confirm I am telling the truth. To become a more positive force for destruction. The universe is at war, Doctor. In one planet, 
whose history is but bitter with atrocities and ambition for empire. I wouldn't know what to do with another day. If I were you, I would be dead. I lack your practice, Davros. <laughs> There you are. No, you need medical attention. I can't control my mind. I'm not safe. I caused Mercer's death. I've got to get away from here. No, wait! Look, I can help you. Don't try to follow me. I may cause your death. Davros's Daleks? They are to be destroyed. It is the Supreme Dalek's order. The darkness is not on this level! <laughs> Dalek, it made them stop before I killed them. Nothing must interfere with the true destiny of the Daleks! You must be exterminated! 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 <laughs> Was close. Doctor! Well, no. Now for the Daleks. I wouldn't want to be that close. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, was Earth Shock Two. <laughs> I mean, I suppose in a way. I mean, yeah. It's not a million miles off, is it? I. So the only people that actually made that out, other than the Doctor, was Lytton and his two policemen guys. Hmm. That was interesting. The the Daleks kind of turning on each other. You got yeah. the Daleks that support Davros and the Daleks that support. Yeah. The Supreme Dalek. Yeah. It's a very complicated plot, actually. Well. And then, of course, the Dalek's plan is to duplicate the Doctor and get him and his companions again to, to go to Gallifrey and assassinate the Time Lords. Yeah. Everyone's was, got a different plan. <laughs> there was all sorts going on. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that was probably the most depressing Doctor Who story <laughs> ever. Like, like the bleakness. Of it. Yeah, it's you, Tegan's response at the end is very real. That's how I feel, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. It's yeah. You can't blame her. Yeah. For running off, makes sense. She's gone. Properly now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got used to having her around. It. Yes. I mean, 
if we had one story with her and Tom Baker, but she feels like a fifth Doctor companion, every fifth Doctor story she's been in. Yeah. That's the last of the original fifth Doctor companions gone now. We've only got zero. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. She has been around for over two seasons, which is almost the longest. It's on a par with, like, Sarah Jane. Really? I think just just about on a par. I maybe, maybe like, one or two stories less. But the, just the, the way the Doctor Who, like, the seasons and stuff, I lose track. Yeah, know, I know. just get lost in watching it all. Yes. It's harder to, to distinguish seasons in the classic series. It's easier in the new one. Yeah. So what, what did you think of Tegan as a companion? Yeah, I liked her. She was the only human... Pretty much. Yes. Adric, Nissa, Turlo even. Yep. First human companion since Sarah Jane, I would say. Oh, right. I th you said that the da you really liked the Daleks in this. Yeah. I. Well, did you like them in this, but you said they were more threatening in this. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's what I sort of meant, is that, yeah, this is the most, like, scary of it. Well, I mean, I can imagine a lot of people being frightened by this story back in the 80s, you know, especially by younger people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah especially, like, given I, I, how yeah. violent it is. You know, Doctor Who, in Terror of the Autons, got complained. Do you remember I told you the story that Terror of the Autons got complained because it had the picture of the policeman that was actually the Auton? Right. And they, they discussed it in the government. It was like, can we actually show this? Really? Yeah. We, we don't want kids being afraid of policemen <laughs> and you know <laughs> Don't. we've got them dressed up as policemen here just massacring people yeah and they're actually you know they just look like humans yeah so yeah this is yeah i mean yeah because policemen don't have like plastic faces you know yeah, yeah <laughs> these are very real yeah and, and again in that one yes exactly in that one you can say well they're autons they're not even human these guys are just mercenaries just mm -hmm. just killing people <laughs> yeah and i think and they live at the end as well which is the i don't you, it kind of makes you be like you you don't want them to live at the end almost yeah. it's like the wrong people survive yeah that's, that's the nice. bleakest thing just watching them walk off there but like, yeah, we we got off scot free. <laughs> Maybe they'll come around like uh, what was his name? Styles? Stein. Well, Stein. he was Stein was a duplicate though. These guys aren't. These are mercenaries. These are hired. Oh, um, okay. Maybe. Davros. What did you think of the new da of the new Davros? Um, definitely very much like the original. Uh, well, from Genesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The costumes changed a little bit. Yeah. To yeah. fit the new actor's face, I think. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what it looked like in Destiny. Well, it was the same mask as Genesis, but it was a different actor, so it, it looked and sounded a bit weird. I remember, yeah, I remember it. I remember it being a bit off, but. But yeah, Davos is definitely more like the, the Genesis one in terms of, like, sort of believability, mm. kind of. Yeah. yeah. And again, you know, more intimidating, like, than ever. I'm fairly certain this has the highest death count of, of any Doctor Who story. Yeah, it must be, like, 30 plus? 50? Oh, maybe in one episode we got 30. <laughs> so how was this, like, received? At the time, I'm not sure. I'll find out again. <laughs> I'm really in. I'm I literally very interested it. To it see has it. seven deaths in the first minute. Episode one has twenty-one deaths alone. Oh man! Fifty-three. Fifty-three. Earthshock has sixteen. All together, the fastest death in a Doctor Who episode was Dalek Invasion of Earth, where the Roboman dies in twenty-six seconds of it starting. <laughs> oh yeah, the Dalek Invasion had its sort of dark. Bits, that has but, some very bleak moments as well. But that was also, that was also like an exciting sort of fun story, as well yeah. as that. This was just, this was just a downer. <laughs> In a good way. Yeah, it, it's a, <laughs> it's a very well made story. Like, yeah, you can't deny that. It's very well made. 
that but it isn't one I don't know if it's one that I would want to come back to often. Like, you know, Dalek Invasion and, you know, and Earthshock, you know, those are ones that I'd want to rewatch again, you know, multiple times. Because they, they are, like, they are, at the end of the day, still really entertaining stories. Yeah. But, you know, while still having that sort of, you know, that sort of next level. But, but yeah, this one, this one was quite heavy. Apparently that opening sequence was complained about a little bit. Right. Newspapers reported some complaints about the opening scene with policemen shooting people in the street. <laughs> I'm not at all surprised. That scene with uh, the Doctor and Davros, where he's saying, no, I'm, here. I'm not here as your prisoner, I'm your executioner. Yeah. There's some really good scenes in this. Yeah. Again, the Doctor being quite, quite trigger-happy, <laughs> more so than usual. Although he doesn't kill Davros. He would if he was going to. Yeah. He was definitely about to. Yeah. For a minute, I thought he might actually do it. I don't know. But if like, he hadn't been locked out, I'm sure he would have done. Yeah. What are they in there? I, mean, these, I like having these uh, the scenes play as the yeah, chapter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's, this is the bit there. Eh? He gets locked out. There we go. <laughs> that's yeah, it. it's like there's more... <laughs> Yeah, more thought put into it than the, the standard ones. So, yeah, it was two 45-minute episodes as broadcast because of the Winter Olympics, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Eric Saywood was unsatisfied with this story, saying in a DVD commentary that it was too frantic with too many ideas. The main plot with the Daleks releasing Davros so that he might cure them of venom virus, but also the duplicate plot, to the also the plot to assassinate the Time Lords and yeah. the Council, Davros is scheme to make a new race of Daleks. Yeah. Except him. Okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that makes sense. So he didn't come up with all of those ideas? Who? Eric Sayward. Yeah, he did. Oh. Well. He just said he didn't. You're allowed to not like him. I didn't like how it was done. I don't know. He just said, yeah, you know how to not like your own work, you know, when you've done it. Yeah, I I'm guessing he wrote it at the end and it was broadcast, he was like, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I'll ask him. <laughs> Eric, if you're watching, let us know. Yeah. An incredibly bold and bleak term. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what the next ones are like, you know. Tone kind of aside, you know, it's still, you know, got a lot going on, like, you know. It's not sort of boring. So, do you dislike the tone? No, it's just. You didn't? Okay. No, it was just a bit sort of unexpected. Okay. And you know, you know, by by just how it is, you know, it's you know. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, yeah, it's quite dark. So, you know, that's just part of it. Yeah. Um, Score-wise, I'll give it, um, I'll go with an eight. Eight. Yeah. Cool. So we'll join Doctor and Turlow. Yeah, just them two. 